Welcome everybody to the Dot Video Show with Jesse Miller. I'm glad you could make it today. Thank you to my studio audience. Thank you guys for making it out here. Love to have you. Thank you to my millions and billions of internet viewers, to the trillions and billions more of you who are watching on your iPhones and your iPads. Did you know that there are 100 million iPhones out there uh, on planet Earth right now? About 90% of them are tuned into our show. So thank you guys for watching. That's awesome. All right. Tonight, we've got an excellent show prepared for you. We've got two extremely hot items, Sony's NEX FS100, the one camera that everybody's been waiting for, and uh, another, another piece of gear, which is actually camera support. Coming out of Matthews, the folks who bring you the Century Stand, the C-Stand, that uh, you know, is on every single set, video, film, uh, still photos, every single set across the world, basically, have created a, a combination jib and slider that's um, that's really going to add production value to your next production. We've got it here at Midtown Video. We've got it in the Dot Studio to show it to you, uh, to get you psyched up about it and, and start creating. I'd like to begin first with this camera. Finally, uh, if you're a, you're a wedding videographer, you've got an EX3, and all these young punks are showing up with DSLR cameras bragging about their gigantic chips. Or maybe you are that young punk bragging about your gigantic chip, and you're jealous of the EX3 wedding videographer that can actually plug a microphone into his camera and record for more than 12 minutes at a time. Luckily for us, our friends at Sony have solved both of your problems. The camera is the NEX FS100. So join me right over here. We're gonna we're gonna walk you through we're gonna walk you through some of the, the finer features of it. So uh, let's go to Debbie with a question coming in from the internet. Uh, we have a question. Can the NEX picture be easily matched to the EX1? Okay. Well, thank you for asking the question. Can the NEX picture easily be matched to an EX1? Absolutely. Yes, it absolutely can. It takes a little bit of uh, uh, sophisticated menu manipulation. You're going to want to make sure that you get your, your Cine Gamma Tone set to the same settings. You're going to want to make sure that you do a white balance, right? You take a white card and have both your EX1 and your FS100 shoot the same white card and, and perform an automatic white balance under the same color temperatures. But absolutely, you know, Sony's cameras have a certain look to them. Uh, they also have similar features. The Cinema Tones in the NX, in the NX FS100 are actually uh, uh, derived from some of the Cine Gamma Tones that you'll find in the EX cameras. So yes, yes, absolutely. It makes a perfect B camera. In fact, if you're that EX3 videographer or EX1 videographer looking for a, a, a nice way to get super large chip cameras on the set of your next production, whether it's a wedding or, or, a, or a feature film, um, you may want to look into this NEX FS100 because it's coming out of that Sony line. It's got the same sort of you know, setups available to you. And if you want to grab gigantic chip imagery for shallow depth of field, you can do it with this camera and match up to your existing Sony cameras. Hope that, hope that answers your question. Thank you for watching the show and, and bringing the, the, uh, the feedback to us. So let's begin with an analysis of the outside of the camera, NEX FS100. Here it is, all right? It comes in two flavors. You can buy the U model, which comes with no lens. That's four thousand nine hundred ninety-nine dollars. Let's call it five grand. All right. Or you can buy it with Sony's zoom lens right behind me. That's a six thousand dollar package. All right. The cameras run on your favorite NPF nine seventy batteries. Say you've purchased an N, uh, HVR Z one U or V one U in the past. Right. Say you've got an NX five. Well, you're in luck. All of your old accessories are going to work with these cameras. Same NPF nine seventy battery powers it. The, the main difference is going to be the lens. You're going to either want to get the included lens package, Sony's zoom lens. I think it's a 14 to, well, we'll get to that in a minute. <laughs> or you could get it without a lens and adapt your existing lens base to this camera. Right now, I've got an MTF adapter here. Let's go to Jose for a sec. Jose, check this out. I've got an MTF adapter here, which allows me to bring my EOS Canon lenses right onto this camera. Now, MTF also makes them in the Nikon flavor, right? So say you've got a bunch of DSLR lenses for Nikon. Say you've got a bunch of DSLR lenses for Canon. It's a $380 addition to the camera to put your lens right on the outside. Pretty incredible. The lens uh, is focusing on a chip that's actually super 35 millimeter. So the same super 35 camera uh, that, are <laughs> that are shooting all of our favorite films from you know, the 20s uh, until today. That size filter, uh, that size chip is sitting inside this camera. So you've got that gigantic area to focus your lens on. You don't need a lettuce adapter or a Pro 35 adapter. You're already gaining the benefit of that extremely shallow depth of field from the, from the sheer size of your chip. Now, it's not really this big. You know, it's got to fit in the camera. But compared to something like a 1 3rd inch NX cam, absolutely, it's, it's incredibly large. And the value, of course, of that incredibly large focus plane, very shallow depth of field. 
we'll, we'll, we'll look at a, a couple examples of that in the, in the near future. We have, a, we have a question. All right, let's go to Debbie with another question coming okay, in from the Michael's internet. Michael's asking, do y'all use a tally light solution for J-Town, and who do you recommend, y'all? Michael, thank you for watching the show tonight. Thanks for uh, uh, bringing in your question. No, we don't use a tally. Um, Verge actually is talking to me with an eye. No, we use a tally system. Well, uh, to broadcast the show, we're using a TriCaster, TCXD850, totally awesome, high definition TriCaster, and um, our friend Danny Sell builds custom tally systems. We're actually employing a tally system that runs over an XLR cable, carries voltage right, right out of the switcher to several different, I'd, I'd love to describe that, and Michael, stick around till the end, we'll, we'll, we'll cover this again. Uh, don't want to get too far off course here. Wally Gator wants question. to know if the FS100 comes with a gamma setting. Wally Gator, thanks for checking back in with us. We love it when you watch the show. We love it when you ask us questions. Absolutely. The, the FS100 does have cine gamma settings. Um, shall we look at them? Let's, let's do it. Virg, how about camera five for a second? Let's go into our picture profile menu, shall we? There we are. Right now, um, you can see that we can turn the picture profile menu off, or we can choose any one of six picture profile menus. We're going to jump into one, jump into setting. Right now, my gamma's on standard. But if you want a CinemaTone 1, a CinemaTone 2, or an ITU 709 standard, right? That's the, uh, what's this? You think that's a television broadcast standard? I think so, too. I think so, too. Thank you for your input there, Mr. Jose. All right, so there you are, Wally Gator. CinemaTones built into the camera. Follow-up question. Do you sell the MTF adapter, Douglas wants to know, and what would the price be? Douglas, thank you for tuning in. You're just a couple seconds late. I will remind you, yes, we do sell the MTF adapter. This FS100 has the EOS MTF adapter on it, 380 bucks. Allows me to put all my awesome Canon L-series lenses on here. Your non-L-series Canon lenses will also work. If you want Canon L-series lenses, if you want MTF adapters, if you want NEX FS100s, call your buddies at Midtown Video. The camera without lens. Right? Camera without lens, five grand, $380 adapter, plus all the lenses to your delight to, uh, to put on the camera. Remind me, uh, just a little bit later, we're going to get into some of the limitations, some of the limitations on these, on these lens adapters. All right? Don't be scared, though. There's plenty of ways to overcome them. 